Looking at this photo, you may wonder if this might be trick photography. An eruption behind a small village? Could this have happened? The answer is yes. It did happen on January 13, 1960 in the town of Kapoho in the Big Islands Puna District. Here's a map of the East Rift Zone. Kilauea Iki on the far left and Kapoho Town, the red dot on the right. Although the eruption occurred several miles away from the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park area, this is considered an eruption of Kilauea Volcano. Who would have thought that Kilauea would erupt in the middle of a sugarcane field miles away from its origin? The earth opened up right in the middle of town. Steam poured out of cracks. Here's a large break in the road, and here's that same location 24 hours later covered in ash. Note the two fountains in the background as we see the flow creeping into local agricultural lands. Here are before and afters of the papaya fields. These are the local orchid farmers saving their crops from the oncoming lava flow. Bulldozers built rock wall barricades hoping to alter the path of the flow. Eventually, the volcano won, plowing right through the walls. The lava also didn't stop for any wooden structures. Buildings caught fire and burnt to the ground. Interestingly, the flow covered a local cemetery except for this one headstone. The deafening roaring sounds would last 11 hours or more. These were powerful steam blasts along the fissure system as brackish water flowed into conduits and turned to steam. The violent expansion of the steam shot upwards into billowing steam clouds. Observers likened the sound to that of a giant steam engine. Here's a map of the progression of the flow. Nearly 100 homes and businesses were destroyed. The eruption lasted 36 days and buried about two square miles of land. Note in this final map the addition of new land in the area. Today, Kapoho is a seaside coastal town. The original eruption site several miles up the road site has not been rebuilt. The only traces of what happened here in 1960 remains only in the minds of those who lived it.